So I love rose. I love talking about rose. I love rose perfume. Let's find out if I love rose in a candle. Today's video is about Give Cheer Strawberry Sparkler 3 Wick Candle from Bath & Body Works. Before we get started, I'm Adrienne. I love candles, I love perfume, and I love talking about them. Thank you so much for watching. I also would love if you take the time to subscribe uh, to get more of my videos. Uh, before I get started, I just want to talk quickly about my scent of the day. It was inspired by today's review, and that is Armani C. Fiori, which is a beautiful, creamy rose vanilla perfume um, that is just, um, just very, very uh, yummy, uh, sophisticated and um, I just think it's it's beautiful as I already said um, and back there I am burning the peppermint sugar cookie candle from Bath and Body Works it's a beautiful three wick candle that throws amazing it has that warmness added by the sugar cookie it smells like a baking sugar cookie with some peppermint in it and it's just uh, I think it's one of Bath and Body Works best candles out there so with all of that being said, let's get started on the review of the Give Cheer Strawberry Sparkler. And then after my review, I'm going to be talking about some of my rose fragrances that uh, I absolutely love. And I didn't realize whenever I started doing this video that I have quite a few <laughs> that have rose. So I do love rose. Um, so the Give Cheer Strawberry Sparkle Sparkler came in the Giving Tuesday collection and it has this um, art deco type type packaging and it's got the pink and the gold and then it just has a white barn lid that's um, fingerprinted up here and it has the light pink wax and um, it has notes of strawberry prosecco splash of rose water vanilla bean and natural essential oils so um, I thought I would pick this up I was hesitant. I was going to take it back. I was going to burn it. I decided what the heck I'm going to burn it since I love all these rose perfumes. I have to um, love this candle. And so I decided to burn it the other day and I decided that this candle is not for me. So what does this smell like? Um, and I'm, and I think that the conclusion I came up that I came to was I love rose fragrances. I love rose body lotions. I love roses. I love rose shower gels. I just don't seem to like rose in a candle. This is the third rose candle I've had from Bath and Body Works and I really haven't preferred any of them. I had rose water meringue, um, which smelled actually very similar to C. Fiori. Uh, very, very beautiful, but I just didn't like it in a candle. Same like I like, I love men's cologne, but I don't like particularly cologne in a candle. So it's just a personal preference. I do think that, oh, I've had rose water. Sorry, I digress. I've had rose water meringue. I've had love rose vanilla. And um, now I've had the Give Cheer Strawberry Sparkler. And um, Love Rose Vanilla, which I have had, I don't know, maybe four of these body creams. I use it pretty much under every rose perfume that I've had. I've had it in the Moisturizing Body Wash as well. Uh, I love this scent. I love to wear it before bed. I wear it all the time. Um, the Love Rose Vanilla Candle practically gave me a migraine. I couldn't even stand it. So um, I love this scent, could not do it in a candle. So that brings me back to this Give Cheer Strawberry Sparkler, which smells similar to the Love Rose Vanilla, but to me, this is actually the best rose candle out of the three that I mentioned. It's the best rose candle because it doesn't give me a headache. It has that fresh, watery rose, and then just very, very, like, bright, tart fruitiness that comes from the strawberry. So take a strawberry and remove all of the sweetness, and so you're going to get that. It's nothing like the strawberry in Strawberry Pound Cake. That is a very, like, sweet, creamy strawberry. This is, um, this is just tart but you do get some strawberry, but it's very, very light, watery rose with 
with a very, very tart strawberry. So very, very fresh. This is not uh, the right season for this at all. I don't think this, this is even in the same planet as Christmas candles or any candle I would want to burn uh, during the winter time. Uh, however, if you love rose and you love fresh candles, you do you, boo. Like this, this would be great for you. Um, and I really think it is a beautiful, beautiful rose candle. I think a rose lover, or somebody who loves rose candles and loves very heady florals, um, floral scents in their home would really, really love this. I think that, um, it is a beautifully blended, even though I said there's tartness, it just, it goes together because there is the, um, the vanilla bean. Now, do I smell particularly vanilla in it? No, but I think the vanilla, like it, the vanilla pulls it together. So this is a really pretty rose candle if you like rose. So this reminds me of, you know, maybe, maybe somebody in, you know, somebody attending, a baby shower and she's wearing, you know, just a beautiful, um, you know, floral dress and maybe she has a hat on and she just looks so fresh and clean and, you know, her hair flows and the sunlight is glimmering down on her and, and she just is just, just pretty. Just everything about her is just pretty. That's what this is. Um, it's just a pretty, pretty candle. However, I don't love it and I'm going to return it because I just, I, I'm, I think I'm done. I'm done with rose candles just because it's not for me, but this did not give me a headache. It is just, it, it, I think in a body fragrance, I would probably wear this all day. It is not drastically different than the Ro Love Rose Vanilla body care, but it is definitely way better in my opinion than the Love Rose Vanilla candle. Okay, so I also just wanted to take a moment to talk about some of the perfumes that I have that have rose in them. So I just kind of grabbed them uh, in my collection. So the first one that I have is the um, Kayali Sweep Diamond Pink Pepper, which is a, a rose vanilla, not similar to C. Fiori. It's, uh, it's different in terms of uh, it has a little bit of the spiciness and a little bit of oud in here too. This this smells a little bit more elevated. This is like a fancier. This is somebody um, maybe going to a cocktail party or something. Whereas this is just, um, you know, this is maybe just uh, church. I don't know. It, you know, something something you know a little bit less less um, you know look at me kind of place. Um, so I have Kayali Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. That's a rose fragrance. I have the Mon Paris Intense Mint, uh, which isn't drastically different than the Armani C Intense, which I have right here. Um, these are both rose. This is a black currant in rose. Um, this is another rose forward fragrance. This one just isn't as well blended. Like if I had to pick between the two, I would choose uh, Armani C Intense. But this is nice. This just has a little bit, um, the Mon Paris Intense Mint has a little bit more um, brightness to it. Uh, and it's, you can, maybe a little bit harsher of edges. It's just not as masterfully blended, but it's very, very pretty. Um, I think this is this is a uh, night out perfume as well. I also have a, a Lancome Idole in my collection, which is another rose. Uh, this is a bright, fresh, crisp, clean rose with a hint of sweetness. This lasts all day. Uh, it projects. Uh, you're gonna. It's going to be with you uh, until you take a shower. I have received compliments on this. Uh, Somebody actually stopped me one time at, at a gymnasium. It was a ref and he was refing a game and asked me what perfume I was wearing. Um, I don't think I oversprayed, but uh, he said it was beautiful. And then he talked to me like five times after that. So that was interesting. Um, so that's Lancome Idol. I also have Flora Botanica, which is a rose. It's very, very watery rose without any sweetness and a hint of herbaliness. That's like a cannabis note. And, um, this is a really pretty fragrance as well. 
Another rose that I have is um, Miss Dior Eau de Parfum, which is the 2017. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the new one that just came out. It seemed like they took all the special things that Dior has put in their perfume and, and took them out. It's pleasant. It just doesn't say Dior to me like this one does. Um, this is the only version I've ever had, and I do definitely enjoy this. This is a citrus rose patchouli, uh, very, very deep, very, very mature. And I don't want to say very mature. Um, I don't see a teen wearing this, um, but this is very professional scent. Uh, this is a signature scent. Uh, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And then last I have, and I'm almost done with this, I'm going to be replacing this with something different. I'm going to be getting the Eau de Toilette of this because um, this is Coco Mademoiselle. And this is a, uh, a an orange, rose orange patchouli scent. It's, it's, it's on the more mature end as well, but it's just beautiful. Um, I just tried the toilette and I like the dry down on it a little bit better, but I feel like I need to have a Coco Mademoiselle in my life. So as soon as I'm done using this up, I just have the teeniest bit, um, I am going to replace it with that. But this is another rose fragrance that I have. And I think that's it. I also have about three or four different rose body creams, uh, in my bathroom and I do love rose. And again, this is not for me, but if you are a rose lover, I highly recommend the Give Cheer Strawberry Sparkler. It is fresh, bright, beautiful, very rose forward though. It is very rose forward. So if you don't prefer rose, I would definitely pass on this. So that's my review. Let me know if you tried Strawberry Sparkler or if you happen to have any rose perfumes that that you uh, wear and enjoy in the comments down below. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day.